Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, there were a couple of central area title fights over the weekend. Um, now, the one that you will probably know or know of, or maybe even seen, is uh, James Flint um, outpointing Campbell Hatton for the central area 140 pound title, super lightweight. Um, it was a great fight, really, really entertaining. Um, and the other one was between Logan Richardson and um, a guy called Jake Harrison. Now, both of these fighters won defeated going in. Harrison was the champ, Central Area Bantamweight champ, 8-0, uh, and Richardson was coming in. He was 4-0. Um, and I don't think Richardson had a, had a knockout on his record previously, but he certainly got one after he'd faced... Um, Jake Harrison, because he knocked him flat, absolutely flat. <laughs> Fifth round knockout. Um, he floored him very, very heavily in the towards the end of the fourth round. Came out and it took him twenty seconds to literally knock out uh, Jake Harrison and pick up the bantamweight um, central area title. Now, why am I saying all this? Why am I talking about central area titles? It's because I've heard people say. Well, you know, central area, low level, and they're almost kind of being disdainful. And I don't agree with that sort of attitude. I think it's very, very disrespectful because, look, I mean, I know a couple of guys who've won area titles, and it means the world to them. And they talk about there being levels to this game. Well, they're absolutely right. They, whoever they are, you know, the, the public, the so-called experts and so on. Uh, Look, if you're a pro, you pick up a belt and you win it in the ring and you win it in a fight, which is kind of like the one between Logan Richardson and Jake Harrison or James Flint and um, Campbell Hatton, um, you deserve respect. In actual fact, the losers of those two fights deserve a lot of respect. Um, Jake Harrison, he was the champ coming in against Richardson and he you know, that was his title. He'd won it in the ring. He'd never beaten a guy with a winning record, by the way. So we are talking technically low level. But he fought, he fought like a like a champion. You know, he, he tried to retain his title. He gave everything, and he ended up getting knocked flat. And again, Logan Richardson, big respect to him. He had he'd faced no one other than Journeyman on his record. This was his chance, and you can see what it meant because after the fight, you know, I mean, the crowd. It was a small crowd, but they were going. Going mental now. If if you look at the other fight, the other central area fight, the one that was on the zone, James Flint. Look at his reaction after he'd beaten Campbell Hatton, who was obviously the house fighter, the big name. Um, he was the guy who they were all sort of bigging up or match and were trying to big up. And a lot of people after that fight said, "Well, Campbell Hatton, you know, we knew that he was no good. We knew that he, he had nothing about him. We knew that this was his level, and he hasn't even managed to beat James Flint. And who the hell is James Flint? And all this." But I think people are missing the point. Yeah, I'm someone who had very serious doubts about how far Campbell Hatton could go. By the way, he's only 23, so he can improve. But is he ever going to be a world champ? No. But the people around him, I'm talking about Campbell Hatton now including his esteemed father, can feel very proud of that boy because he gave everything. And Jimmy Flint was looking to knock him out, desperately trying. Um, towards the end of the fight, like the last three rounds, Hatton look, looked absolutely running on fumes, knackered, totally out of it. So what? He hung tough. He showed big balls. He showed the fact that he, he was born into money, whether his, his father had money didn't bother him he wants to be a fighter he is a fighter he is a fighter he may not have you know a great deal of talent just like logan richardson and jake harrison they might they might not go on to european level or even british level but they they have a certain amount of talent which they're trying to maximize and these area belts mean something to these fighters because it gives them the chance to show themselves as well as the public that they're real fighters they're real fighting men and that they're going to take whatever ability they have and stretch it like a piece of bubble gum out of your mouth to snapping point as far as it will go. And I've got a lot of respect for people like this who are lower level. Now, Campbell Hatton may, may have the famous name and he may have Eddie Hearn's backing and the DAZN platform, but is he any better in terms of talent than Jay Harrison, Logan Richardson, obviously not Jimmy Flint? No, he, is, he probably isn't. He probably isn't. He's, after all, he's had every opportunity and he hasn't been able to take them. But that's not through lack of trying. And if you give everything in life, as someone who's slightly older than I'm sure a lot of the people who are watching this video, if you give everything in life, 
really try your absolute best, even if you don't get there, you kind of look over your shoulder when you're older and you say, oh, I didn't, I didn't quite have it. It wasn't meant to be, but at least I gave it my all. I only regret the things in life that you didn't do, not the things that you tried to do. It's, it, it will haunt you if you don't maximize your efforts uh, to do what you want to do, to try and do what you want to do. If you fail, you know, okay. If, if you tried everything, you can, you know, you might be sad about failing, but you can at least sort of um, become philosophical about it and just kind of put it to bed. Um, but if you don't try and you don't give everything, that's when it'll haunt you. It will, and it will haunt you. Um, so I just thought I'd sort of big up these guys, these lower level guys, because and they they produced some terrific fights, both the both the Richardson and Harrison fight and the and the Jimmy Flint uh, Campbell Har- Harrison uh, Campbell Hatton fight were really terrific, you know, uh, watches. And yeah, big up pro boxers, big up good honest British pros. Don't forget about them. All right, if you've got anything to say, leave it below, please. You the usual routine. I will look at your comments and answer as many as I can. Um, if you're new to the channel and you could subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Takes a second, why not? And also, oh, hit the like button as well because uh, that means something apparently. All right, anyway, thanks a lot. Catch you later. Bye for now.